शतान प्रसंगा Hare Krishna dear devotees and welcome to today's session How are you doing I pray that all is well with you and your families at this time So today we continuing with this letter to Sudama Prabhu who is in Japan at the moment and preaching and yesterday we were saying how these were very young devotees and even they were not oriental devotees sudama prabhu is an african american devotee and he's preaching in a country like japan under the direction of shila prabhu pad so it's such miraculous kind of preaching that these devotees are doing under the inspiration of shila prabhu pad so the letter goes on so we catch it at this paragraph where prabhu pad says I'm glad to learn that Mr. Rowe, a South Indian gentleman, is helping you and why not take some help from Dai Nippon Company? This Dai Nippon Company is the company that uh, they were approaching uh, to do printing of uh, Bhagavad Gita and other kinds of uh, printing, maybe some uh, artwork and things like that so prabhupada is saying you should also approach them under what basis he says here they can issue a certificate in our favor that we are completely non political religious institution meant for every human being so prabhupada is saying we're not a political institution we are a religious institution meant for the benefit of everyone so ask them to help and see you can ask them so prabhupada is suggesting and then he says burujan is very intelligent boy and good match for cooperating with you in the absence of bali mardan so for those who know who is burujan prabhu is a famous uh vihe teacher vrindavan institute of higher education and he's uh, designed many of the courses bhakti shastri bhakti vai bhav bhakti vedanta bhakti sarvabhoma all the courses that prabhupad has uh, wanted that our devotees should learn and read the books so he's one of the main teachers of it so prabhupad is acknowledging that very intelligent boy <laughs> so prabhupada is saying and he's good to get on with and for those who know burijan prabhu he is just an amazing sadhu and a ve- he's just an amazing devotee a very senior devotee but he comes across in such a humble way and when he's giving classes it's like uh, just absolutely amazing his the depth of his realizations and the depth of his understanding of shri prabhupada's books so prabhupada is saying take help from him i have talked with gargamuni yesterday and he is going to send you the letters for guarantee very soon i shall remind him again so not sure what was being guaranteed here but there is some letters that's required for this so proper says i'll also remind gargamuni of this proper goes on to say even if you don't rent a temple for the time being you can go on street sankirtan and hold meetings from a rented hall So this is the early years and this is how Prabhupada is advising that when you go to a new place don't just get into you know or get concerned about getting a big place of your own first rent a place gradually from there you can see the response and gradually because to buy a place means the weight of uh, the whole responsibility of the project will rest on you and a few other financial devotees and that is a huge burden just yesterday i was talking to one of the uh, temple presidents in south africa 
he was sharing with me that uh, it became a huge financial burden when the lockdown happened and he had to make extraordinary measures uh, in order to salvage the temple. So we don't hear about these sacrifices that these devotees make uh, because they humble, they don't broadcast it, they just bear the burden and carry on. This is love. Uh, so Prabhupada is saying uh, that we should first rent a place and then gradually from there worry about getting a place of our own. The main thing is to do Sankirtan and have meetings. Prabhupada goes on to say, that will also do. So he's encouraging him to, this is what you should do. Mm -hmm. He goes on to say, so he, it seems like he's asking a philosophical question here. So Prabhupada is answering, yes, Krishna is never approached directly. Krishna is approached through his bona fide servitors. He says that carrying out the order of my pure devotee is greater than carrying out that directly given by me. So I was trying to find this quote actually and uh, where Prabhupada is quoting this from, uh, I couldn't directly find this quote but something close enough was um, the verse hmm? Aradhana Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhana Param that worship of me is high or worship of Vishnu hmm, is high but higher than that is worship of the paraphernalia or the devotee connected to Vishnu hmm? I couldn't find the direct verse of this translation that Prabhupada is quoting here because he didn't give a reference in this but Prabhupada is saying that Krishna is being quoted as saying uh, that carrying out the orders of the spiritual master is higher than even carrying out my orders. So that's a very profound uh, statement. Hmm? Prabhupada goes on to say, In this connection, I may inform you that you try your best to serve Krishna under the directions of your spiritual master and Krishna will surely help you in all respects. So, Prabhupada is so humble here. He's saying, you carry out the instructions of your spiritual master. And he's not saying me. He's not saying I'm instructing you. He says, your spiritual master. <laughs> and he says, Krishna will surely help you. Wow, what a conviction. Prabhupada goes on to say, I shall be very glad to go as soon as you call me. So, he's really eager to go to Japan to preach there. Actually, there's a lot of connection between Japan and India, uh, especially in the uh, early years, you know, in, even in the previous yugas, in the previous ages, there's a lot of connection. Um, we see the first verse uh, of Bhagavad Gita, uh, Dutarasta Uvacha, Dharma Kshetra Kurukshetra, Samaveda Jujutsava, this is Jujutsu. Jujutsaba means fight or warfare and in Japanese culture from Jujutsaba, Jujutsu became the uh, form of fighting art known as Ninjutsu. Uh, so Jitsu, the common word there in Sanskrit and in Japanese culture. So we can see that they've uh, taken the from the Dhanurved, military science, the art of military warfare that the Japanese have taken that from the India, from the Vedas and they've mastered it to become great warriors themselves. So many common ground there. Prabhupada goes on to say, I have got great interest in preaching for the Japanese and if Krishna gives me opportunity, I shall stay in Japan for one or two months for this transcendental business. So anybody will get enlivened when Prabhupada says, I'll stay with you all day for one or two months. Wow! So they definitely, everybody wants that, right? Every, all the devotees want Prabhupada to come and stay with them. So he's saying, if you arrange this, then I'll come. <laughs> so you can imagine now when Sudama Prabhu is reading this letter, he's just like, oh, definitely we'll make the arrangements, you know. 
And Prabhupada is eager to go there. So he goes on to say, that is a fact. This plan of Sankirtan is the only way, the only way for our success. So we know where he's quoting that from. Harinam eva kevalam kalo nasti eva, nasti eva, nasti eva katiranyata. So this nasti eva, the only way, the only way. Because when Prabhupada quotes something, it's sastric. He's quoting it from some verse. So if you've understood the verses and learned the verses, you can easily uh, trace where he's quoting that from. So he just see that where he's quoting this from. Prabhupada goes on to say, Sankirtan, love feast and selling BTG. They are our primary engagements. So he's saying this is the foundation on which we should build Krishna consciousness in countries. Sankirtan, Sunday love feasts. What we would do without Sunday love feasts? Yesterday I was speaking to uh, Tribanga Prabhu and uh, we were saying we can get everything else online. You can't get love feast online. <laughs> you can get everything but hey, we're missing the prasadam, you know. Oh, now we're relishing and now we're really uh, reminiscing that, oh, what about all that prasadam that I used to, uh, you know, because of my weight or <laughs> because of this cholesterol, this, that or the other we used to avoid. Now we're saying, hey, one paneer, when it will come, little bit paneer sabji. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you can get everything online, all the nectar, but no prasadam. Oh, it's a little dry, isn't it? <laughs> so Prabhupada goes on to say here, and next temple worship. So these are the foundations, then temple worship. So to have temple worship, you need your, you really need your own place for that because you have to establish the deities and all of that. So you really need your own place for that. Uh, so Prabhupada is saying, but these are the foundation things, book distribution, BTG distribution, Sankirtan, Kirtan, chanting, and Sunday love feast, prasadam. These are the pillars of preaching. Prabhupada goes on to say, temple worship is needed for our inner section. That means it's for our devotees. Temple worship is not for the outside people, really. It's more for our inner devotees to have some service to do. Uh, but initially when we go preaching, outreach, we need these three things. So Prabhupada goes on to say, In the beginning, Sankirtan is more important for drawing the attention of the people in general. Last night, I went to see our men chanting in Hollywood Boulevard. Hmm. And I saw it was so fine and satisfactory. So Prabhupada even went out to see what is the re reaction of people when our Sankirtan party goes by? And we know that. Everybody, you can go, when we do processions, Harinam, Kirtan, everybody will join. It's a joyous festival kind of mood that comes out there. Everybody dances, everybody chants, something, some exchange they'll give you. Even if it's a smile, it's acknowledgement that I like what you people are doing. And it's chanting the holy names of Krishna. So the effect is there. Prabhupada then ends the letter, you ever well wisher, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. So it's one of those beautiful encouraging letters and very inspiring to see the young devotees and how much they're endeavoring and surrendering for the pleasure of Srila Prabhupada. So thank you very much. I hope you have a good day today. Please join us again tomorrow. Hare Krishna.